Hello, everyone. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ari. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, very good morning, everyone. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Shall we start the class? Sure. Okay. Is there any new Chinese in our today's class? Yes. May I know what is your name? Okay, Imraj. Okay. So once after completing our today's class, please contact the side me admin team people. They will share with you my demo class as well as first class and the second class. Okay. Yeah, sure. Today is just third class. Once after completing my first demo class, just I have completed first class and the second class. So today is just third class. Okay. 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 Thank you. You just go through those recording videos. Once after watching those recording videos, in case if you are having any doubts, you just come up with your doubts by next class. I mean tomorrow's class. So okay. that they get clarified. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Shiva Kumar. Sir, you did not receive re recording video classes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, mean, I, I did not receive any class, sir. Only yeah. one class I received. That is the thirtieth January. Hmm. After that, thirty-first January and first February class I didn't receive. I did. I I go through with my mail also. There is no video classes. Yes. Yes. Correct. So when when you did not receive thirty-first and first. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, okay, thirty first and first. Actually, we don't have any classes. Okay. okay. You, we don't have any classes. So that is the reason you did not receive. Okay, sir. Okay, okay guys. I am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. Let's continue our class. I think everyone created AWS accounts. Did you create AWS accounts, everyone? Please respond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yes. have you. Okay. Yes, All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay sir, also, good. I didn't receive yesterday record of classes. Yeah, yesterday we did not have any class. Okay. No, sir, yesterday, we, we had, yesterday we have a class now. Huh, the yes. recording we didn't receive. Actually, today it is like a merging batch. So some of the people I did not conduct classes on yesterday and day before yesterday. Some some other people only are conducted, so it is like that. See, guys. So far, we have completed what we have completed demo class. After that, first class related to AWS. What is AWS and what is AWS Cloud? Hmm? How to create AWS account and EC2 theory. Once after completing that one, just we have seen how to create one Windows computer. After that, how to create to Linux computers. Just we have completed only these topics, nothing more than that. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Once after completing these classes, today is the first class. Okay. Yes. All right. I am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. Okay, let's continue. So far, we have seen how to create Windows computer and how to create Linux computers. And not only that one, even we understood clearly what is the importance of RDP port? What is the importance of SSH port? RDP means remote desktop protocol. If you want to enter instead of Windows computer, mandatorily we have to open RDP port. If you want to enter instead of Linux computer, mandatorily you have to open SSH port. What is the number? SSH 22. What is the number for RDP? 338. All right. These are the things we understood clearly. If you are having any doubts, no problem. Multiple times, I will explain how to create Windows computer, how to create Linux computers. Today, I am going to explain to you how to create one web server. Today, we will discuss about web server. Mm. This web server also very, very important. Web server. 
this web server is very very important not only for our devops course not only for our devops class for example in the future if you start any business nowadays business means each and every business you can see one website for example swiggy zomato uber ola it could be any business for each and every web business you can see website if you want to create one website i mean basic website how you can design one basic website i will show you that one only here we call it as creating web server all right let's imagine let's imagine this is my computer yes sudai so kiran later i will tell you okay yes i have seen your question i will tell you i will tell you slowly we will discuss each and every topic for example this is my computer this is my laptop this is my laptop i would like to open google google web page google web page once if i type google immediately what is happening this is google company computer google server google server server means computer only high configuration computer just we call it as server nothing more than that once after typing www.google.com request will go to google server this google server maybe it is available in usa otherwise uk maybe some other country request will go to google server instead of this google server google website is running already google company people they have opened incoming port for this google server with the help of that incoming port my request will go inside and it will load that google web page i mean google website once after loading that google web page with the help of outgoing port already google company people they have opened outgoing port for this computer with the help of outgoing port response will come back to my computer then only here i can see google web page google website i mean web page means i mean google website suppose if i type irctc what will happen immediately maybe irctc server is available in somewhere in the world maybe it is available in so here mumbai otherwise kolkata otherwise delhi otherwise it could be chennai it could be any location this is irctc server server means high configuration computer only we call it as server instead of this computer irctc website is running once if i type irctc request will go to irctc server already irctc people they have opened incoming port for this computer with the help of this incoming port my request will go inside and it will load that web page i mean website once after loading even irctc people they have opened outgoing port for this computer because of by using that outgoing port response will go back to my computer this is like a request this is like a response then only here i can see irctc website after that we can book train tickets bus ticket it could be anything if you observe clearly google google website otherwise irctc website otherwise it could be any website icicbank.com hdfcbank.com in that website you can see what you can see web pages you can see you can see so many web pages let me tell you. normally we call it as website website instead of software companies we call it as web application instead of software companies we call it as web application but normally we call it as website hey can you please open that website yeah, can you please hmm, close that website generally we speak like this either website otherwise web application both are exactly same how you can how 
how can you create one website otherwise how can you create one web application i mean both are same only with the help of web server you can create with the help of web server you can create here what do you mean by web server for example this is one computer let's imagine this is your computer right now you people are sitting in front of your computers instead of this computer instead of this computer if i install if i install web software instead of this computer if i install web software this computer will become web server this computer will become web server once after in installing web related software this computer will become web server for example database server database server when you can call one computer as a database server let's imagine here instead of this computer normally right now it is just one normal computer it could be windows or it could be linux it could be any once after installing database related software database related softwares i mean it could be oracle mysql cassandra it could be any database related softwares once after installing database related software this computer will become database server this is normal computer only if you install web related software it will become web server we call it as web server if you install database related softwares this computer will become database server okay that is the meaning of web server today i will show you clearly how to create this web server very very simple next what is the meaning of one website otherwise one web application website or web application both are exactly same different different people they use different different english words nothing more than that for example some people they call it as facebook website some other people they call it as hey can you please open facebook application like that website or web application means it is like a group of pages group of web pages group of web pages group of web pages let me open any website so that you can understand once if i type google.com here you can see whatever right now here you can see this is this one we call it as google web page here you can see google and here you can see some of the indian languages google search like this for example if i open icicbank.com this is icic website instead of this website you can see so many options for example here you can see personal here you can see nri business corporate like that accounts cards loans invest insure like that each and every each and every option is each and every option is just like a one page we create so many multiple pages we create multiple pages we give these kind of names each and every option is a one page not only this website even you just take any website for example sai dev this is our institution this is our institution website here also you can see once if i type sidemi.com right now you can see home page home page means all options you can see each and every option so many options you can see right right now each and every option is like a one page like that we create so many pages multiple pages if i select courses here you can see once if i select devops as of now url is sidemi.com once after selecting devops here you can see slash courses slash course slash devops if i select aws here you can see link will change slash aws if i select java link link has been changed like that once if i select about again link will change about.php php is just one kind of programming language so many programming languages are available for example c c++ java dot net 
PHP, mainframes, Pascal, Cobol, like that. With the help of PHP, we have created this page. I mean, so many pages. Each and every option is one page. You can think like that. Each and every option is just one page. So many pages. A group of pages only here we call it as website. Otherwise, web application. Mm -hmm. Let me write it here. A group of web pages. We call it as website or web application. Once after typing, once after opening sidemini.com. Immediately what we have seen, home page. This is like a home page. Home page. Instead of this home page, you, we have seen so many options. Each and every option is just one page. For example, this is one page and this is one page. This is one more page. This is one more page. These pages we have created with the help of .php programming language. .php. That is the reason there we can see .php. Once after creating this kind of pages, what we have done, this page link, this page link, we kept in this home page. Exactly the same way, this page link also we kept here. This page link also we kept here. This page link also we kept here. That is the reason once if I select this option immediately, you can see it will be redirecting into this page. I mean, immediately you can see this page. Once if I select here, this link, link means it is like an option. Once if I select this option, immediately you can see this page. If I select here, you can see this page. If I select here, you can see this page. Multiple pages. For example, a group of pages, we call it as one book. A group of flowers, we call it as one book. Exactly the same way. A group of pages we have created with the help of .php language. Once after creating group of pages, these group of pages links we have entered in this home page. If you want to open any page, you just select that respective page option. Automatically, it will open that page. Here, these are, these are the pages. All these pages links here we have given. Here, what I'm going to do is, this is home page. These pages, we call it as backend pages. This page, this page, this page, this page, here we call it as backend. Backend pages. All these pages, where I will put, where I will keep, this is one computer. Instead of this computer, if I install web-related software, web-related software, this computer will become web server. This computer will become web server. I mean, normally this is just one computer. Once after installing web software, this computer will become web server. Instead of this web server, I will put all these pages. A group of these pages only here we call it as website or web application. It is like that. Basic website. Now, I will tell you clearly how to create this website. Creating this website is, first of all, very, very simple. What are the steps here we have to follow? I will write it here. Please observe. First. Just one minute. First here, we have to create one computer. Launch instance. Launch instance. Launch instance means create computer. Once after creating computer, which computer? Linux. Linux computer. Next. Once after creating this computer, here we have to install one software. 
that software only here we call it as web software web software sw means a software in a short form just i have written once after installing software into this computer next we have to create one web page web page web page instead of this page whatever the content you would like to expose to the world for example if i open google google company people they are exposing like this here you can see side me side me company people they are exposing so many options so all these options they are exposing to the world exactly the same way once if i type google google company people they are exposing this kind of content to the world if i type hdfc bank.com they are exposing all these options if you want to enter like this different different websites exactly the same way whatever the content whatever the data you want to expose to the world you would like to show that content we have to keep i mean content content means i mean data whatever the data content next fourth one is we have to start service we have to start service what is the meaning of service let me tell you it is like this starting service means for example you have bike you have bike otherwise you have car in your bike otherwise in your car petrol is there everything is there if you want to go to somewhere what you have to do you have to start your bike engine otherwise you have to start your car engine starting your bike engine otherwise starting your car engine here we call it as starting the service otherwise right now you have laptop you have computer how can you work with your computer once if you press power button then only your computer will start correct or not pressing power button of your computer that one here we call it as starting the service nothing more than that. these are the four steps we have to follow once after four steps it is possible to create one simple web server so that you can access that web page i mean website first we will follow first step launch instance everyone please concentrate each and every class is really very very important because this is job oriented course that is the reason let me create a computer for creating computers which one we are using here aws cloud aws we are using for creating computers how to open aws here you just type aws console aws space console just press enter once after enter button here you can see like this aws dot amazon dot com aws management console just select here mohan so far we have covered just the introduction after that how to create windows computer and how to create two linux computers that's it after that today is the first class okay just we have seen windows computer linux computer and aws introduction what do you mean by cloud what is the difference between physical versus cloud all those things and this is the first class after completing those two classes nothing more than either you can select here otherwise even you can select here log back in means previously already i have logged in so again i would like to log back Sign into the console. Once after selecting that button, here you can see like this. What is the difference between root user and the IAM user? In our coming classes, I will tell you clear. As of now, by default, root user is the option will be selected. Here you just provide Gmail. After that, just click on next. Here just provide these characters. Three. Eight D B P C. Just click on submit, and then provide password. 
my password already saved in this google chrome browser so that is the reason by default here you can see once after providing all these details just click on sign in if you want to create aws account here you can select create a new aws account just click on sign in successfully we have entered instead of this aws account aws management console what are the page here you can see that page only we call it as console console dashboard otherwise page here you can see my name in your aws account you can see your name singapore is the region right now you can see let me select some other region let me select for example london you can select any country each and every country here we call it as region that is the meaning selecting london means what do you mean by this one what are the computer i am going to create that computer physically will be created in london region london country that is the meaning of selecting london we can select any country it doesn't matter really here you can see services just select services all these all these things here we call it as modules each and everything whatever here you can see we call it as modules instead of each and every module you can see services just select compute once after selecting compute module here you can see instead of this compute module so many services if you want to create a computer by using which service we can create a computer ec2 elastic compute cloud just select ec2 all right once after selecting you can see this kind of page this kind of dashboard this kind of view here you can see security group 1 key pairs 2 let me delete existing details so that everything i will show you from the scratch just select key pairs these are the key pairs i have created in some other classes just select actions delete i just want to delete p e l e t you have to type here delete because to confirm deletion type delete in the field successfully we have deleted again just select ec2 dashboard once after deleting still here you can see just refresh now you cannot see anything everything here you can see 0 0 here you can see one security group this is a default security group it is not possible to delete what do you mean by default security group in our coming classes i will tell you as of now in in your aws account also your aws accounts are pretty much new accounts that is the reason if you select any region in your aws account also everything you can see 000 here everything also you can see 000 except one security group except one security group deleting this security group it is not possible why we will discuss later i would like to create one computer how to create one computer some of the people they are having some questions related to linux computer how to create linux computer please watch okay here you can see launch instance just select launch instance once after selecting launch instance here you can see computers i mean operating systems here you can see these are the seven steps we have to follow already we have seen how to create windows computer how to create a linux computer in case if you are having any doubts again in our coming classes multiple times i will explain just to select free tier eligibility only what is the first operating system here you can see amazon linux let me select this first operating system once after selecting here you can see t2.micro this is the free tier eligibility always you have to select free tier eligibility options one cpu core and one gb of ram t2 dot micro this is family is t2 just click on configure instance details i mean i would like to create one computer by default here you can see only one number number of instances means number of computers how many just one just click on add storage add storage means hard disk capacity by default they are providing 8 gb 
but till up to 30 gb it is completely free as of now 8 gb is completely sufficient for our requirement root means c drive root means c drive just click on add tags tag means giving one meaningful name for our computer we call it as a tag for example you are having one name that that is that is the meaning of having one tag it is like for example if you go to any shopping mall there you can see if you want to buy one t-shirt for each and every t-shirt each and every pant you can see price tag so that you can understand what is the price of that particular shirt particular pant it is like that here also tag means i just want to give one meaningful name just select here here i am just giving web server because we are going to create one web server just click on configure security groups which operating system i have selected linux that is the reason here you can see ssh secure shell 22 port number already aws company people they have opened because we have selected linux operating system that is the reason security groups deals with the port numbers port numbers are just like a doors to your house for providing security for each and every computer you can see two port numbers i mean one is incoming port another one is outgoing port normally for each and every house you can see two doors one is incoming door another one is outgoing door exactly the same way next if you want to provide any name here you can provide for example security group name i just want to provide one simple name you can provide any name for example web sd web means i am going to create one web server that is the reason i have given web sd means security group this is the short name i have given control a control a select control c i mean copy in this description if you observe clearly they have given 2022 and february this is february and they have given february 2nd and here you can see that is the time that is universal time i just want to delete this description i just want to provide web sd you can give any name you can give any description this is just for our understanding purpose nothing more than that once after providing like this what is the meaning of these details later i will tell you what is the meaning of this warning also i will tell you later just click on review and launch this this uh, this warning also i will explain later next here you can see this is like a review for creating each and every computer you just you just verify just click on launch instance i mean create computer create a new keypad i just want to give some name web server hyphen london which region we have selected london what is our batch time 7 30 am you can give something like this just click on download keypad successfully we have created we have downloaded it. here you can see pem file normally we know so many file formats dot txt dot pdf dot word document like that dot jpg this is also one of the file format just click on launch instances successfully we have created computer this is our computer number either you can select this number otherwise just come to here you can see view instances i mean see computers this is our computer successfully we have created in our today's class new people are available actually they don't know how to what is a what is the meaning of party what is the meaning of party job? okay let me explain let me explain already if you know still you can you can you can listen so that you will get better clarity in case if you are having any doubts related to party partition those doubts will be clarified those doubts will be clarified how can we connect this computer this computer running in which country london not in india just to select instance id here you can see our computer is run just to click on connect if you want to enter instead of any computer on this planet 
it could be windows computer otherwise it could be linux computer this is one this is one computer let me write it computer see guys this is like a computer b this is like a computer a this is another computer computer a and computer b i would like to i would like to access computer a to computer b how can i access if you want to access computer b ip address computer b username as well as computer b password password these details where you have to provide in this computer a you have to provide then only it is possible to access computer a to computer b this is the fundamental point when it comes to computers connecting from one computer to another computer this is the basic point ip address username and password let's see here once after once after selecting this computer i mean just to select instance id once after selecting you can see like this here you have to select connect this is our computer name this is our computer number remaining details later i will tell you just click on connect once after connecting you can see so many options here now you just select ssh client ssh client here you can see our computer name our computer number let me draw one diagram let me draw one diagram how to connect from one computer to another computer with the help of putty everyone please concentrate this is this is my laptop this is my laptop my laptop is available in india this is the computer just now we have created where in london not in india this is the computer we have created in london london this computer is linux l i n u x linux operating system we have created in london at the time of creating this computer even we have opened incoming port as well as outgoing port ssh incoming port ssh outgoing port once if i select ssh automatically incoming port will be opened automatically outgoing port also will be opened that is the default behavior for this computer what are the details they are providing i will show you first then i will write here you can see they are providing username where you can see username see guys here you can see username ec2 hyphen user this is username this is username after that here you can see ip address 3517817176 username they are providing ip address they are providing already we have downloaded pem file here you can see instead of my computer downloads folder this is the file just now we have downloaded web server hyphen london 730am.pem this is one file format pdf is one more file format for example photo is one more file format exactly the same pem means privacy enhanced me this is like a password that means here that means here username you can see here ip address you can see password is this is the this is the password i mean this is the name we have given file is available in my computer username ip address password with the help of this file we have to generate password that is the meaning of this file these are the three details they have provided ip address and username next pem file they have given extension is dot pem simply what i will do they have given ip address that ip address i will enter instead of my computer username also they have given so username also i will provide like this but here they did not give any password they have given one file that file extension is dot pem what we have to do 
we have to convert pem file into ppk file this is one file format dot ppk is one more file format yeah we have to convert pem file into ppk file how can you convert for converting here you have to use one more software that software name is putty gen that software name is putty gen p u t t y putty gen many people they call it as putty that is completely wrong pronunciation please try to pronounce as putty english language is like that for example we call it as put correct ana what we call but we call it as but we never call it as but correct ana it is it is english language like that that is the reason better to pronounce as partition this is the software we have to download with the help of this software what you can do this pem file you can convert into ppk file once after converting pem file into ppk file where we have to provide all these details there is one more application called puttty by putty this application we have to download in this application we have to enter ip address username password it is like this this is one application this is another application otherwise you can call it as this is one software this is one more software these are the two softwares we have to download now i will show you clearly how to download because in companies always we use putty and putty gen very very important just open google do you know how to open google google.com just press enter you can see like this here you just type p u t t y putty and putty gen just press enter once after pressing enter button let me see in my downloads okay nothing is there let me download this is the official website guys www.chiark.greenand.org.uk this is the official website just select here once after selecting this website will open like this download putty latest releases 0.76 you just come down come down come down here you can see here you can see putty.exe i mean first one here you can see ssh ssh means secure shell ssh and telnet as of now which operating system i am using windows 64 bit operating system how can you verify do you know just come to here this pc just right click this pc here you can see show more options here you can see properties once if i select properties you can see here 64 bit operating system i am using my computer because of that reason which one we have to select 64 bit x86 not ar in case if you are using 32 bit operating system then you can select this third one as of now just select the first one putty.exe once after selecting automatically that small application will download like this putty.exe executable file once after downloading come down come down come below here you can see puttygen.exe now just click on puttygen.exe this is also 64 bit x86 puttygen just to select once after selecting this software also will download like this very very small softwares once after downloading what you can do you just close this website just go to your computer downloads folder where you can see here here you can see puttygen software as well as putty by looking these symbols easily you can identify putty means for connecting one computer to another computer putty here you can see putty gen generating the key for generating key we will use this one as of now after downloading you just double click once if i double click this application it will open like this here you can see so many options but very very important option is load because already pem file is available where you can see this is the pem file 
you no need to generate you just select load because already we have pem file here i cannot see yes here you cannot see because which one selected patti private key dot ppk file format selected by default now you just select all all files here you can see all files once after selecting all files then only you can see everything now you can see web server london 730 am dot pem now just select pem file type file type is pem just click on open once after once after selecting open button here you can see successfully we have imported this key and these people they are saying that hey hari save as private key save private key here you can see message just click on okay where you can see private here you can see private always we have to select private key that is what people are suggesting that is what people are saying you should not select public key just select save private key once after selecting save private key it will show you two options yes or no if you want to provide any password for this file that time you can select no if you don't want any password for this file you just select yes listen if you want any password for this file in that scenario you have you have to select no if you don't want any password for this file then you have to select yes as of now i don't want any password for this file that is the reason i would like to select yes that's it then it will open like this exactly same name you just enter which name web server whatever the name you have given for example web server london hyphen 730 am that's it don't give any extension extension automatically will be provided by patti key generator software just click on save all right now you just close here you can see this is the file we have downloaded with the help of this file we have generated this file by using this software this file format is .pem privacy enhanced name this file format is ppk patti private key that is the full form now you just come back to our computer what you have to do go back to downloads here you can see patti just i mean according to our diagram we have generated we have created ppk file with the help of partition software now with the help of this application we have to connect how can you connect you just copy username username is easy to hyphen user at the rate this complete one i mean ip address you just copy control c do you know how to copy in windows what is the shortcut control c once after copying go back just double click patti it will open like this here you can see host name or ip address both are exactly same here you just paste control v there i have copied and here i have pasted what are the details i have pasted username as well as ip address and then here you can see plus button plus button just select the plus button once after selecting plus button here you can see auth auth means authentication how you are going to connect how you are going to connect your computer how you are going to authenticate your computer by selecting ppk file just select auth just click on browse and then just click on ppk file at the time of entering instead of this linux operating system we have to select a ppk file now just click on open that's it here you can see accept just click on accept successfully we have entered instead of linux operating system this is my windows operating system desktop here you can see windows operating desktop like this this is my linux operating system desktop linux operating system desktop you can see like this i mean black color as well as white color letters that's it according to our diagram successfully we have entered instead of this computer with the help of my computer i have entered instead of this computer with the help of here you can see incoming port now i can execute some of the commands i mean for example like this if i type something you can see something correct or not 
that that means i have entered inside of this computer i am executing something that is the meaning of this one again let's come back to these are the four steps just now we have completed first step create a computer and enter inside of this computer now we have to install one web software web software we have to install here guys these commands we call it as linux commands as of now what is the meaning of all these commands please don't think okay for installing for installing as well as for creating web server i have to execute all these commands in our coming classes at the time of starting our linux classes i will tell you what is the meaning of each and every command what is the meaning of sudo what is the meaning of su what is the meaning of m http each and every command i will tell you clearly in our coming classes as of now our concentration is what is the meaning of these commands that is not our concentration just our concentration is how to create one web server only that is our concentration these linux commands i will tell you clearly in our coming classes just to come back to here i am going to execute to some commands don't think don't think about these commands hurry executing some commands i am unable to understand please don't think like that okay everything i will tell you that is my responsibility here for creating web server i have to execute these commands otherwise it is not possible to create web server even i will share with you this document few commands sudo space yes you here sudo space yes you okay like this once after executing this command i will i will show you something i will show you something and i will ask you one question i will ask you one question what is the meaning of cd don't think everything i will tell you okay here you can see here you can see one folder name var var this last one here you can see right var let me go inside this folder see guys can you see here can you see here anywhere triple w folder i will give you permission you can you can talk to me can you see anywhere triple w folder no, no sir no no no, sir. no we cannot see correct or not once after installing one software once after installing web software one folder will be created triple w folder will be created instead of this triple w folder one more folder will be created that folder name would be html html okay yeah again i am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances okay all right here you can see as of now we cannot see triple w folder all right now i am going to execute this command what is the meaning of this command just very very high level you can you can understand something install means install what i am going to install i am going to install one software that software name is http d software name itself is a http what is the meaning of this file what is the meaning of yum later i will tell you as of now here you can see install means install what we are installing one software that software name is httpd hypertext transfer protocol daemon d means daemon later i will tell you what do you mean by d daemon everything let me install this software yum install httpd minus y let me press enter successfully we have installed here you can see install correct ana what we have installed the software name is httpd normally we know some of the softwares for example vlc media player google chrome mozilla firefox exactly the same way for example oracle mysql it could be any software this software name is httpd this is one web software once after installing the software 
now here you can see triple w fold here but previously even we can scroll up like this we can scroll up but previously we were unable to see that web that triple w fold here you cannot see but here you can see here you can see okay instead of this triple w folder you can see one more folder you can see one more folder that folder name that folder name is htm htm go instead of this folder what is the meaning of cd each and everything i will tell you as of now please don't think about these linux commands everything we will discuss okay instead of this html folder we don't have anything now i will create one diagram let me adjust my screen let me clear the screen i will create one diagram please concentrate so here first of all instead of my computer there is one folder this is one folder folder means normally windows folder already you know right windows folder in windows computer you know how to create one folder exactly the same this folder name is var var instead of my linux computer you can see one folder that folder name is var var i did not create this folder by default this is available it is like that by default this is available okay this is one folder instead of my computer what i have done i have installed one software that software name is that software name is httpd this is the software name i have installed this one i have installed this software once after installing this software instead of this var folder just now one more folder got created one more folder got created just now that folder name is triple w that folder name is triple w triple w w w w okay that is the folder name. instead of this folder one more folder got created that folder name that folder name is htm html htm these are the folders got created uh, once after installing this software here what we have to do is instead of this html folder now we have to create one file instead of this html folder we have to create one file it is like a file it is like a file file means normally file you know right for example this is one notepad already you know how to create one notepad file means just notepad you just think like that folder means this is one folder this is one folder exactly the same way let me open this one this is the file one file we have to create inside of this file whatever the content what is the data you want to add you just give for this file what is the name we have to provide index index dot html index dot html this is index okay index dot html this is the file name instead of this file after creating this file you just put data whatever the data you want to expose to the world once if i open that website we can see this data i mean that is the meaning of this one as of now triple w folder html folder automatically got created now i am going to create one file where instead of this html folder let me create what kind of commands we have to use for creating file later i will tell you later i will tell you here you can see echo what is the meaning of echo later i will tell you 
for example i just want to put one small content like my google my google greater than what is the meaning of greater than everything we will discuss later file name for example index dot html once if i press enter that file will be created what is the meaning of this complete command later i will tell today our concentration is not on not not to understand these linux commands only for understanding how to create web server okay. for creating web server mandatorily we have to execute these commands now here you can see index.html correct or all right successfully we have created one file according to our diagram file also we have created this file name index.html now total how many steps we have completed i mean web page page means this is the file let me write it here even file this is file file we have created now we have to do fourth step that is start service starting service means it is like a starting your bike engine starting your car engine otherwise starting instead of your house maybe washing machine refrigerator it is like that here we have to execute one command that is service http start as of now stats you just verify the status here you can see inactive you can understand the english language clearly here you can see inactive and dead okay just to try to understand only this english word and this english word nothing more than that status is inactive now i would like to start the service service http this is software name start start means it will start the service. Once after executing this command, again I just want to verify the status. Again here service httpd sta tus status. Just press enter. As of now here you can see active, active and running. That means we have started the service for this software. We have started service for this software. Not only these services, not only in Linux operating system, even Windows operating system also you can see. I think you people already know. I will show you. You just type services in your Windows computer. S E R V I C E S services. Once if I type services, just press enter. Here you can see so many services. Here you can see this this service is running. This service is running like that. See guys, all these services are running in my Windows computer. That is the only reason right now my Windows computer is working. For example, if I stop all these services, my Windows computer will not work. For each and every operating system, you can see services. For example, I just want to start this service. Here you can see, as of now, this service is, this service is not running. Correct? Huh? Just select and here, once if I select start, Right now, service is running. Here you can see service got started running. For example, this one, application identity. Just to select how to start as of now, you cannot see running. That means right now it is not running. Just to click on start. Here you can see very recently, just now we have started the service. Exactly the same way. The same way, just here also we have started the service. Once after completing all these things, now let's access to this website. How to access? Just scroll up a little bit here. How can you scroll up? With the help of this one. Scroll down, you can scroll up. Just click on instances, just to select. Once after selecting, again you can see your computer. Just to select instance ID. Once after selecting instance ID, here you can see public IP address. With the help of public IP address, you can access your website. Just select. I have selected public IP address and here just click on plus button, new tab. 
you just give here control v control v. even i will give you this public ip address to you in our chat box in our chat box i will paste yes i have pasted public ip address can you see this public ip address please talk to me i have given permission yes can sir. you see yes so yes. what you can do is either by using your phone otherwise by using your computer you just open any browser maybe your phone or your computer just paste this ip address after pasting you just press enter can you see something after entering google page is it here in your computer you just open any browser mozilla firefox google chrome here you just paste and then just press enter after pressing enter button can you see something you can use your phone otherwise you can you can use you can use laptop no yes. still loading okay still loading what about i can see the google page itself hari not sure ah uh, no see hari uh, i am able to see uh, site can't reach okay site can't reach here you can see like this one girl was saying that google page no it is not like that you know google chrome correct ana you just select the place button here you just paste this ip address control v otherwise manually you just type once after pasting just press enter once after pressing enter what you can see you just tell me that is what my question this google page with the scenery okay what you can see in that page this page can't be reached exactly correct everyone is getting that the same message am i correct yeah it's loading let me show you here in my computer once if i press enter button once if i press enter button here you can see something like this it is still loading rotating yeah in this in this page in this google page now you can see one beautiful message in this google page now you can see like this this site cannot be reached with this site yeah address. i too got it okay like this hmm. like this you can see so exactly what happened now i will create one more diagram this diagram is very very important literally what happened exactly let me adjust my screen let me i am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances actually what happened this is the computer we have created this is the computer we have created okay instead of this computer this is normally one computer after installing web software what is the name of web, our web software httpd after installing this httpd web software this computer became web server web web server okay instead of this computer what we have done we have created one file i mean instead of so many folders we have created one file that file name index.html instead of this file we have given content it is like a my google my gvo gl my google is the content we kept already already we have opened for this computer ssh incoming port as well as ssh outgoing outgoing port incoming in, it is like a incoming door it is like a outgoing door for example this is like a my computer these are like your computers otherwise you you just imagine this is your phone maybe your phone otherwise your computer i have given this computer ip address this computer ip address i have given to you 
this computer IP address are given to you. As well as even I am also entering this IP address instead of my computer. I have entered IP address. I have entered IP address. As well as you people also entered IP address by using your computers, otherwise by using your phone. Once after entering IP address, exactly what happened? Exactly what happened means request. Request is coming to, we have entered, see, by using my computer with the help of this SSH port, what I have done, I have entered instead of this computer, after that I have executed some of the Linux commands just now. That is the meaning of SSH, okay, incoming port as well as outgoing. Once after entering IP address, exactly what happened? Request. My request is coming to this computer. This one we call it as request. Exactly the same way. Request is coming from your computer, your laptop, your computer, I mean your phone, like this. Request is coming. But request is blocking here itself. Our request is blocking here itself. Our request is unable to enter instead of this computer. Unable to enter instead of this computer. Our request is blocking here itself only. Why? Because I did not open HTTP port. I did not open HTTP port. Once if I open, then only our request will enter instead of this computer. After that only, it will load that web page. A web page means whatever the file we have created, that file, data. It will load. Once after loading, once after loading, once if I open HTTP port, Incoming port will be opened. Outgoing port also will be opened. With the help of outgoing port, with the help of outgoing port, response will come back to my computer. Then only I can see that website. Then only here I can see website. Not only me, even you also can see that website. Either by using your phone, otherwise by using your computer. Here what we have to open, HTTP. What is the meaning of HTTP? Hypertext transfer protocol, internet. If you want to allow internet for web, one website, mandatorily you have to open HTTP port. Now, here you can understand what is the importance of port number. Let me open port number. How to open? This is also very, very important. Now, just to go back to our computer. Here you can see. Instances. This is our computer. Once if I select this computer, below here you can see security. Security group deals with the port numbers for providing security. That is the reason here you have to select security. Either you can select here, otherwise, once if I select this instance ID, here also you can see. Go down below, here also you can see security. Just select security. Once after selecting security, you can see this is our security group number. For each and every security group, you can see one number. This is the name we have given for this security group number. This is the name and this is the number. You just select this security group number. Once after selecting, it will open like this. It will open. This is the description. This is the number and this is the name we have given. All right. Here you can see guys, inbound rules. Inbound means incoming. Inbound means incoming. Outbound means outgoing. It is like a incoming door. It is like a outgoing door. As of now, here you can see incoming, incoming rules. In this incoming, you can see only SSH. Correct, Anna? You can see only SSH. IPv4, I mean IP address, SSH. What is the port number? Only 22. But you cannot see any HTTP port. That is the reason we are unable to access that website. Here, what you have to do? Here you can see inbound rules. I mean, modify incoming traffic. Just to select, edit. Once after selecting edit button, here you can see inbound rules. Sorry, as of now, you can see only SSH. Port number is 22. 
just select here add rule once after selecting add rule here custom tcp as of now you can see just select you can see here http http hypertext transfer protocol that means internet what is the port number for internet 80 here you have to select anywhere ipv4 what is the meaning of this custom anywhere what do you mean by these many zeros later i will tell you as of now please don't think about all these options once after selecting like this once after opening http internet now just click on save successfully inbound security rules modified now you just refresh in your browser in your computer otherwise in your cell phone you just refresh this is same ip address can you see something yeah i will give permission you can talk to me. yes i have given permission you Not just a message my google yes, my, my google. google has came okay you can see something here also let me refresh once if i refresh here also i can see my google correct or you can see here my google i mean this is like a my website for example if i open google website this is google company website for example if i add some colors if i create some of the options we also can create this kind of colorful websites they have just added some of the colors nothing more than that this is the ip address with the help of ip address we can access website i mean here just come here what we have done just i have open http port for allowing internet for allowing internet now i am going to write two points these points are very very important you please observe and read and remember here i will write first one is ssh port ssh ssh port we used to go we used to go inside inside linux computer linux linux computer physical physical and run some commands some commands just now we have executed some of the commands some commands next this is the meaning of ssh port and next one is http http port what is the meaning of http port here we use we used to access we used to access website we used to access website through through internet internet for that reason we have to use http port this is the purpose of ssh port and this is the purpose of http port we have entered inside of linux computer and we have executed some commands that is the meaning of ssh port that is the purpose we used to go inside linux computer physically and we ran some commands http port means we used to access website through internet what is the port number port number is 80 internet port number what is the port number when it comes to ssh 22 for example windows 3389 what is the name r d p this is the name. i hope it is clear so guys this is all about our today's class 
this is how you can create one web server web server means one website instead of web server only you can see application application means i mean website we can access like this by using public ip address all right i hope it is clear i will give permission yes i have given permission did you understand about today's class please respond yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. If you are having any questions, please ask me related to our today's class. Otherwise, related to how to create Windows computer and how to create Linux computer, how to enter instead of those computers, you can ask me. I am here to clarify all your doubts. In case if you are facing any problems uh, while practicing, I will give permission. You can share your screen. I will resolve that problem. Hari, I have put a question in the chat. It's regarding uh, accessing Linux or Ubuntu through Mac. Ha, yes, yes, correct, right? So, what is your name? Shweta. Shweta. Okay. Yes. So, Shweta, are you sitting in front of your computer right now? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Remaining people, in case. If you are having any doubts, you can stay here. If you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting. Remaining people. Okay, I will give permission, Sweta. Uh, sure, Ari. Yeah, just one minute. Yes, I have given permission. Now you are the co-host. Yeah. You can share your screen. I will stop my screen. <coughs> Yeah, I'm able to share. Okay, all right. So I was here uh, where I have created a Ubuntu instance. If you can mm -hmm. see, I have uh, saved the PEM file. Correct. So after this, I will be going to my terminal. terminal uh, you are going right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this terminal, so, first of all, can you please maximize a little bit? Okay. Do you know how to maximize? Correct. View here. Somewhere you can see some option like... Uh, bigger, little bit. No. It's not working. Yet. Okay, it is not working. Hmm. Is it, it becoming is bigger? View. No, I think I can do it. It's sort of font size there. Ah, correct. Oh. Font size. Okay, slowly, slowly you do. Yeah. No hurry. Okay. No hurry. No, this is <laughs> default. It's went back. So that's mm -hmm. the amount of bigger it gets. So the that, uh, one you want to it's okay. Otherwise, it's okay. I can see your screen yeah. clearly. No problem. With the help of this terminal, as of now, you just execute one command, PWD. PWD. Okay. Right now, here you can see Sveta. Hmm. Yeah. In your computer, you have downloaded that PEM file. Correct, Anna? Yes, yes. That PEM file is available where in your computer? On downloads only. Downloads. Yes. So, downloads, correct? Uh, mm. yes, Go to downloads. Uh, yes, correct. With the help of, now maximize this downloads folder. Correct. Yeah. This downloads folder is available where? In downloads. Yeah, in downloads. Ah, now you just open that part, terminal. Terminal. Okay. That white color terminal. Yeah. Now you just go to that downloads folder. Uh -huh. Here mm, we will we will see the location. Yeah. This is a downloads, right? Mm. Just go to terminal. I will I will tell you. CD here, yeah. not CD, just type LS. Here you can see, wait. Here you can see desktop downloads. Now you just execute one command. <coughs> Space, capital D, downloads. You just type D O W N L O D S, downloads. Just press enter. Okay, all right. Okay. Now you just type one command. PWD. All right. 
now you just type ls command okay here you can see that file that file name is which name we have given sweta sweta ubuntu no that file name is this one ubuntu mumbai okay ubuntu yeah. mumbai yeah no problem that is here yeah i can see no problem mm. just type uh, cleaar one command cleaar okay all right now you just do like this you just go to your aws aws terminal aws easy to instance AWS website. Yeah. Yes. Here, what you can do is you just copy. Which command yes. you can copy means you just copies this command ch mode four hundred. You just see one symbol, right? In front of ch mode four hundred Ubuntu hyphen Mumbai. Yes. Yes. You just copy that complete command. Yeah. Yeah. Once after copying that command, here you just right click paste. Do you know how enter. to paste? How yeah, I did that. Enter? Yes, just press enter. Okay. Now you just again just go to that AWS. Hmm. All right. Now again you just go to terminal. Here, just type one command. Yes. Uh, hyphen L. Just press enter. Okay, all right. Now again, just execute the clear command. C L E R. Now again, just come back to E W S. Now you just copy this complete line. Here you can see not that one. Example. Yes. You can see example, right? Okay. Yes. You just copy that complete command. Yeah, I copy. Yes. Go back to terminal and just execute. Just press yes, yes. Type yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. There only. Just type y e yes. Just press enter. Yeah. Now I think we are in it. Just one minute. I am looking these details. Yeah, success. Now you just type cat cat command c a t cat space slash e t c forward slash. Do you know forward slash? Where it is available? C T C T C and forward slash. Uh, wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Uh, just, just three times. You just press backspace. Hmm. Yeah. Now it is okay. Forward slash. Where you can see forward slash in your computer? Beside shift. No, this is. Ah, uh, yes, this is forward slash. Now G T C. E for elephant. Yes, correct. E T C again. Forward slash. Yeah. O S. O S hyphen. R E L D E S. Now just press enter. That's it. Already see. Once after executing that command. You have connected to Ubuntu operating system. Here you can see yeah. Ubuntu at the right IP address. Did you see? Now you can see the name Ubuntu operating system version. This is the version you have connected. Okay. Ubuntu. Successfully you have connected. Now did you understand how to connect? Yeah, connecting, I understand. So very very are... simple. Yes, yes. 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 You can username and. Here for connecting, what you have to do is you have to execute this command: ch mode four yeah. hundred yeah. Ubuntu hyphen Mumbai hyphen Jan twenty two dot pem. That is the command you have to execute. After executing that command, here you can see below example. So you here you are using Mac 
uh, Apple computer. That is the reason complete command you have to execute. SSH hyphen I Ubuntu, that complete command. Okay. We can connect. Again, just to go back to terminal. In your in your terminal, you can see green color. Ubuntu at yes. the IP address. Hmm? Yes. That means yes. successfully you have connected. So right now, which operating system? Ubuntu. That is the meaning hmm. of this one. Got it. This is how Thank we you, have sir. to connect. See, guys, remaining people. Remaining people, can you hear me clearly? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For example, if your base computer is not Windows, it could be Linux, it could be uh, Apple computer, it could be Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, it could be anything. This is how we have to connect. In my, my computer is Windows. That is the reason I have downloaded Putty and Putty Jump. If you are using Linux computer or Apple computer, you no need to Putty, Putty Jump, nothing. Okay, straight away you can connect. All right. Hari. Yes. Hari. Yes. Hari. Now you can wait, guys. Remain people, please wait. Okay. Now again, I am going to share my screen. All right. Yes. Now you can ask uh, remaining people. You can proceed with your doubts. Hari, if, Hari. if uh, our is Windows computer, so that's why party partition directly we can connect. No need of this process and all this. Exactly correct. Exactly correct. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. So, Hare. wait, wait. My computer is running. Now, what I'm going to do, I will terminate my computer. You just select here. Here you can see instance state, terminate. Terminate instance means it is like a stopping our computer. It is like a uh, permanently deleting our computer. It is not stopping, sorry. Permanently deleting our computer. Losing this computer forever. That is the meaning of selecting terminate option here. Later, I will tell you how to stop, how to start, and how to use the remaining options. As of now, you people also, in case if you create a Windows computer, otherwise a Linux computer, you just click on Terminate Instance is the option. And one more thing, guys. These are the commands. Please don't practice. These commands, please don't practice. I will share with you this document, but please don't practice. When you can practice, once after explaining, all these Linux commands, that time you can practice. Because as of now, you cannot understand anything. That is the reason. Is it clear for everyone? Yes, sir. OK, all right. Yes, yes now you can proceed with your doubts. Once after stopping computer, Hello. it's not possible to access this website. OK, yes, I have, you can I, proceed. Hare? Yes, yes. Hare, I, actually, for the Windows, uh, uh, for instant con connecting, we are used uh, RBC yesterday in our PC. So for the yeah yeah for the list, why can't we use RBC? Uh, what? It is not possible to use. See, oh. that is how people decide. If you want to connect Windows computer, you have to use RDP. You have to use RDP. Okay. If you want to connect Linux, you have to use SSH. I mean, okay. party, party. Okay. Uh, that okay. is a separation because Windows computer is different, Linux computer is different. Correct, Anna? Windows everything yeah. you can see graphical, graphical user yeah. interface. Linux okay, everything okay. you can see like this: black color okay. terminal Commander. and white color letters. It that is the CLA. Okay. CLA. Okay. Yeah. One more doubt. It's a general yes, uh, you can ask. No problem. Yeah, what is the uh, difference between the Agile and the DevOps actually? Actually, what is the relation between Agile and DevOps? Agile, you did not listen yeah. my demo class. Yeah, yeah, I listened. Agile is the SLDC. Okay. okay. Agile but, means, uh, what is the interconnection between these two? Is there any connection? Agile means we are following. Agile means so what we are following daily we have sync up meetings. Daily we have stand up meetings. I mean. With the help of those kind of sync-up meetings and the stand-up meetings, we can communicate each and every person in our companies, in our projects. And I mean here, relation means in a simple English language, I can tell you like this. Okay, I don't want to take more time. Here, DevOps follows Agile methodology for creating any software or website very, very fast. Agile means just we are following some sync up meetings and stand up meetings. After that, we are using these DevOps tools. Okay. 
that is that is the meaning of that is the meaning of ajay nothing more than that yeah even in our coming yeah. classes i will tell you clear detailed way of explanation as of now sure. you just remember yeah thanks sir okay yeah sorry remain paper sorry. please yes i have sorry yes yes yeah. yes please tell me one by one yeah. Yeah, just now you have connected that Apple laptop. Correct. Yeah, in that you are using ch mod command. That command, please don't ask. Later I will tell you. Later I will tell you. Today our class is not to explain Linux commands. Okay. okay. Later I will tell you. Don't worry about all those things. Sorry, nowadays we use a laptop. We we use uh, Apple Apple or Windows. Uh, come again, come again. We we. Microphone. In organizations or companies? Yeah, in companies we use Linux, Linux operating system. Mm -hmm. I mean, comp once oh, okay. the company, they will give you Windows computer only. No, sir. But no, sir. all servers are Linux servers. Okay. All servers are Linux servers. I mean, you just remember Linux computers we will use. That's it. You can't use Ubuntu, sir. I Ubuntu also one of the Linux. What is the difference between to Red Hat Linux? Everything I will tell you. As of now, don't think too many uh, questions. Okay, don't think too many things. Just remember, in company we use Linux. It is like this. Okay, sir. Okay. Each and every computer I will explain. Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, CentOS, Suzy Linux. Hmm? Everything I will tell you. I will show you clearly. All Linux commands also I will explain one by one clearly. Yes, remaining people. Hello, Harry. Yes, yes. Any I have, this is Ankush. This side. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, on the day I asked that my uh, Windows server is not able. I am not able to create uh, Linux is okay, but Windows I am not able to create. Okay. Right now, are you sitting in front of your computer? I, I, I. Uh, shall I? Uh, can I share my screen? Just wait one minute. I will give permission so that you can share. Your name is Ankush. Ankush. Yes, I have given permission, Ankush. Okay. Now you can share your screen. Below you can see share option. Yeah. Okay. All right. So my screen is visible, right? Just one minute. Yes. Now I can see. So this just now I have created this uh, Windows. Uh, <coughs> Uh, one more new computer you just create. At the time of wait, at the time of creating this computer, did you download a PEM file? Uh, yeah, I downloaded it. Wait, first open your Windows computer downloads folder. Downloads folder you just open. Yeah, just select the downloads. Okay. Hmm. So, what is the name you have given? Windows underscore key underscore feb. This is yes. the name you have given, correct? Yes. Okay, all right. Now, you just go back to AWS. Now, you just select instance ID. Now, you just click on connect. Here, you can see, just click connect RDP client. Yeah, these are the details. All right. So just click on get password. Browse. Here, you just select. Yes. Just click on open. Hmm. Scroll down, scroll down. Click on decrypt password. Yes. Now you just open RDC in your computer. Go to search option. There you just type RDC. Just start. Yes, select start. Hmm. Here, no, here below you just type RDC. Correct. Just select open. Hmm. Here. Hmm. Just a second. Computer name. I mean public DNS name. You just copy. 
just move and you just paste control v username administrator just copy and paste next just click on connect password copy and paste just click on okay and then just wait authentication error has occurred the local security authority cannot be okay remote computer this could due to expired see password password expired so okay no problem what you can do is just close everything i will tell you steps now just go go back to instances just to select this computer please select and terminate all right now here you can see launch instances just select go below yes here you can see windows computer correct just to select hmm. configure instance secure instance details add storage next add tax yeah you just provide name for example win hmm. that is okay windows that is fine hmm. you need okay new security groups just to select okay review and launch launch here create new key pair you just give your name what is your name correct ankush with your name do you have any other files no 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 okay just download now just click on launch instances okay select correct select instance id yes clear filter it will take some just one minute wait one minute as of now it is still in pending position okay uh, uh, once it gets connect uh, one more doubt uh, harry uh, yes please actually see now we have created one uh, what the windows server right so uh -huh. many people are ex uh, are able to access it right <laughs> so come, come again uh, so many people can access this uh, windows server na so so what is the uh, my doubt is that the uh, specification of that windows server is uh, 1 gb ram and 30 gb internal storage okay so when people are accessing that server then that when people will be getting is shared or everyone will get 30 gb internal storage ah uh, that question i will tell you i understand your question now let's see this one just select instance id now you cannot you cannot connect so you just reload this browser wait wait just click on connect hmm. yes just select again you just open ah uh -huh. get password just select four minutes yeah wait wait another four minutes okay hmm. i understand i understand your question so you have asked one more question for that question i will tell you answer later okay okay just wait another 2 to 3 minutes it will take some time remaining people are you understanding guys everything yes sir yes sir okay 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 Thank Again, you, Harry. Real, ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. In case remaining people, if you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting. We'll meet tomorrow. Again, just click on connect. Yes. Correct.
I can download here. No? Yes, that one later I will tell. Okay, later I will tell. Even you can download. Even you can download. That is correct. You understood correct only. Even you can download that part. No problem. Both will work because I did not explain it. Right? So that is the reason I said you just follow this way. Next username. Generally, you should not get that kind of error. Ah, uh, yeah, password never get expired, no. So I... Ah, correct. Even I am also thinking. I mean, this kind of error, I did not get any. Error. See again, that is the okay. This is not a problem from AWS side. Your computer only there is some problem. Mm, that might be. Yes, you were computer... to log in my uh, this uh, AWS account to another uh, another laptop or computer. If uh, the same issue is there, then I will create login my account. If uh, if there it works, na, then 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 in my this could not account. be due to expired password. Please update your password if it is expired for assistance. In your computer, uh, so did you install any unauthorized softwares? Another is miss. Uh, I mean, it is like a. So you just do one thing. I mean, what are the process you have followed? That is absolutely correct. Now you just uh, just click on okay. Uh, close this one. Now just wait wait here download here download remote desktop file. Let it download. Let it download. Don't do anything. Now you just open that one. Yes, correct. Just click on connect. Yes, password. Hmm. Now we will see here. Yeah. Yeah, problem. See, whatever the process you have followed, everything is correct only. This is the this is the problem, not from AWS company. This is the problem only from your laptop. Mm. You just go to control panel and later. I mean, not now. Yeah, yeah. Later you can go and you just verify what are the softwares you have installed in your computer. Mm. If you think any unauthorized softwares or any corrupted softwares are available, so mm. try to Uninstall all those softwares. I mean, unused softwares, please try to remove everything. Yeah. Go to C folder also. Mm -hmm. Whatever the folders, there you can see. If you think any unwanted folders, mm -hmm. you just delete all those unwanted folders. After that, computer, you just restart. And even uh, you go to search option and there you just type percentage temp and percentage uh, temporary unwanted files also. Just delete. Okay. You just do all these things. After that, you just verify. Okay. Then everything will work. You have done process. Everything is correct. There is a problem in your, in your computer. Sure. sure. Okay. Okay. You can stop screen sharing. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Have a nice day, all of you. Yeah, thank you. Tomorrow, sir. we will meet. Yeah, yeah okay. Sir. Yeah, we'll meet tomorrow. All right. Thanks, yeah, thanks everyone.